Hello, welcome to Mr B's ukulele channel. Please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy watching. This is my tutorial for my Halloween special, the uh, level 3 song, The Monster Mash, uh, which was written by Bobby Pickett in 1962 and is a fantastic song to enjoy over Halloween. So I hope you all enjoy this special feature and I've, uh, I've had a bit of fun with some lighting uh, for my sing-along, so do look out for that as well. Okay, it's a really uh, straightforward song, although there's a lot of tricky lyrics just in terms of the speed in which you've got to sing the lyrics. Um, so there's a, a few tongue twisters in there, but the song itself is quite easy to play. Uh, we'll have a look at the chords, we'll have a look at the strumming, uh, and then I'll give you a bit of a walkthrough and a bit of a demo. Okay, let's get into it. So the chords are nice and easy. There's four chords in the song, uh, and it's really repetitive in terms of the uh, chord patterns used. So um, nice and easy, it starts on a G, then it goes to an E minor, then a C, and a D. And that's pretty much your chord pattern for the whole song. Uh, there's a few variations on that, uh, but it's those four chords uh, on a loop through most of the song. Uh, and there's nothing else anywhere else, so no surprises. Um, let's have a look at those a little bit more carefully. So starting on the G, just our first three fingers there, uh, uh, first three fingers, our three fingers there on the uh, second and third frets, our first finger on the A string on the second fret, our second finger above it on the C string on the second fret, and our third finger at the side on the E string on the third fret. So have a quick look at the diagram there. The G, uh, G uh, chord. Then we've got our E minor with our first finger on the A string on the 2nd fret, our 2nd finger on the E string on the 3rd fret, and our fourth, uh, third finger even on the C string on the 4th fret. I'm muddling myself up there. 1st finger, 2nd fret, 2nd finger, 3rd fret, 3rd finger, 4th fret there on the uh, A, E and C strings there. So you're just leaving that G on the top string uh, open. There's your E minor. Then our C chord, which is nice and easy, third finger, third fret on the A string. And then the D, second finger on a semi bar across the second fret on the G, C and the E strings. Just make sure you don't catch the A string at all. Okay, and those are the four chords, so they're nice and easy and no big challenges there. Right, the strumming I've done for this is relatively straightforward. I've just put a few single strums in uh, but most of the strumming pattern, if I do it on the G, is down, down, up, up, down. Up. And if you have a look at the sheet music I've done for this song, you'll see that uh, most of the chords are written in green, which is that strumming pattern. And then occasionally, basically at the end of each verse or chorus, there's a D in blue. And there you just let it roll, uh, or you just let it basically hang there. So you just play one down stroke. And, uh, and leave it until you see the green D and then you pick up the down, down, up, up, down, up again. So for example, if I just sing you the last couple of lines. For my monster from his slab began to rise and suddenly, to my surprise. And you just uh, pick it up like that. So you leave it to hang and suddenly, to my surprise. And that was on the, the green D is where you pick it up again. So if you look carefully at the sheet music, you'll see there's a blue D followed by a green D. It's always on the D at the end of the verses. We get that pattern there. Uh, and the rest of it all the way through, we're just doing the um, down, down, up, up, down, up. And that is the strumming pattern. Um, and pretty much one, one verse played through there. So it's really nice and easy. Let me give you a quick walkthrough and you'll see how the song fits together. Okay, let's just walk through the song. If you uh, have a look, you see uh, it's quite a busy sheet, um, page of sheet music. It's quite a few lyrics. Uh, each, the problem is each chorus, uh, the thing to watch out for is each chorus is varied. So it starts off with he did the mash, he did the monster mash. Then it was they played the mash. Uh, no, well, then, then it was they did the mash, then it was they played the mash, then it is, then you can mash. So there's variation on the lyrics in each chorus, so you can't just write chorus and then go back to the chorus. So I've had to write out the full song uh, on the sheet there, uh, so it's quite a busy page. Um, there's quite a few lyrics, there's quite a few verses in there. Some of the verses are some lovely uh, tongue twisters in there, um, where we get to the, for example, 
Um, here we go. The Coffin Bangers were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. The Crypt Kicker Five. I had to practice that one. Uh, and the uh, one of the other ones um, opened the lid and shook his fist and said, "Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist?" Uh, so do look through the lyrics carefully. Do listen to uh, Bobby Pickett's original, um, just because you'll get the feel for how he puts the voice on, which I've tried to emulate and just have a bit of fun with. Um, but also the speed of the lyrics and the rhythm of the lyrics uh, you can get from him. But uh, also you can enjoy my sing-along and, and hear how I've done that as well. Uh, so there's some really fast uh, lyrics in there, but uh, mostly it's all relatively straightforward. Uh, let me give you that walkthrough now. So it starts on a G. I was working in the lab late one night to the E minor when my eyes beheld an eerie sight for my to the C. A monster from its slab began to rise and now we're going to do the single strum on the D. Suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. Back to the G. He did the monster mash, the monster E minor mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash on the C. It called on in a flash. He did the D mash. He did the monster mash from my laboratory in the castle east uh, to the E minor. To the master bedroom where the vampires feast. The C. Ghouls all came from their humble abodes to downstream on the D. Get a jolt from my electrodes. And you can see how it all flows really uh, easily there. And you've just got those variations on the choruses to watch out for as well. So uh, what I'll do, I think I'll leave you with a quick clip from my sing-along that I've done for this uh, with a bit of fun with the lighting so you can have a bit of a preview of, of part that and that uh, can double up as a demo as well so you can get a good feel for how the song goes. So it's a really fun one. I uh, hope everyone enjoys it and has a great Halloween. Uh, thanks for watching. Mash. It's now the monster mash, the monster mash, and it's a graveyard smash. It's now the mash. It's called on and a flash. It's now the mash. It's now the monster mash. Now everything's cool. Tracks are part of the band. And my monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, this mash is good too. When you get to my door, tell the forest sent you. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash, the monster mash. Under my graveyard smash, then you can mash. You'll catch on in a flash, then you can mash. Then you can monster mash, well who? It's the monster mash, well who? It's a graveyard smash, well who? It will on in a flash, well who? It's the monster mash, the monster